they try to implicate Daniel falsely, accuse him wrongly, and uh, charge him with false allegations. And they could not do anything. His enemies could not do anything except in worship. So they said to the king, make a rule that for 30 days, nobody should pray to anybody, any God, but to the king. And uh, Daniel could have easily, you know, just made an adjustment, but he did not do that. He took a stand. He wanted to obey God. But on top of that, you know, he feared God. He loved God too deeply than love anything else. Now, he knew that the punishment was to be thrown in the lion's den. Lifetime practice for Daniel to look at Jerusalem with, through the open window. To love God, to love his kingdom, to love the creator of heaven and earth, the God of Israel. Nothing could change that love for God. Proverbs 29, 25, the fear of man brings a snare. But the man who trusts in God is kept in strong refuge. He was thrown into the lion's den, though the king regretted for writing such a decree. But the king you know, when he came in that morning, the next day morning, he was crying out because he didn't sleep that night. The king could not sleep. I believe Daniel had a wonderful sleep. <laughs> when you love God, he gives you peace. He gives his beloved sleep. Psalm 127, verse 2. Amazing. The king did not call Daniel as my servant, my minister. He said... You're the servant of the living God. You love someone more than you love me. You love the God of heaven. Has he been able to deliver you? Yes, Daniel had taken a stand. Daniel had obeyed God. And Daniel wanted to love God more than love the world. Daniel says, the Lord sent his angel, tied up, shut up the mouths of the lion because I have found been found innocent and I've done no wrong even before you. Daniel loved God. You know, his love for God was stronger than death as in, in Song of Solomon in chapter 8, there's a beautiful scripture that says, love is stronger than death. The way he loved God was so powerful, so intense. First John chapter 4, perfect love casts out fear. He did not have any fear about the lion. Just imagine hungry lions waiting to eat. But the Lord protected because God had prepared a great goodness. So the king saw the power of God and he glorified God. <music>